I'll start by saying this is a really quite sort of physical role for you. That must have been a really challenging experience. Yeah, it was really hard. Really, really hard. Hardest job I'll ever do. Was there anything, was there anything <laughs> in particular one sort of kind of scene that was really sort of I mean, every single day it was something either emotionally hysterical or, you know, extremely physical or both at the same time. Today you're going to fall down a hill. Today you're going to crash the car, hit your head, and swim through the swamp. Today you're going to punch a bunk bed until it breaks. Today you're going to be raped by a tree. You're going to barf on someone's face. You're going to get buried alive. You're going to rip your own arm off. <laughs> like, I could just keep going, you know? Um, today your knee's going to get slashed open. Today you're going to crawl through a foxhole. Um, it was really hard. I, some, I, I There was a one point in the shoot where I remember waking up and I really didn't, I, I thought I had to run away. <laughs> like, how am I going to finish this movie? I can't do it. But I did, somehow. So they basically just sort of go in and go, right, Fede, what have I got to do today? Yeah, by the end I just sort of became a zombie. Like, at the beginning I was super, super excited, ready for anything. Fede would have me do sprints before... Most of the shots at the very beginning, I would jump rope. They would pour water on my head. And by the end, it was like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> um, but we, 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 we did it. And you had to vomit all over. Was it poor Jessica Lucas? Is that right? Yeah. That must have been quite an experience, sort of throwing up all over one of your colleagues. It was. It really made me feel crazy. I felt dizzy and I, it was nerve wracking. I mean, it looks like you're, I, I thought I was drowning her. Um, yeah. And she's forgiven you? She has forgiven me. She was a trooper. And, you know, we don't use CGI in this movie, so we really had to do that. And we had to do it a lot of times from a lot of different angles. You know, side, down, up. And she had to clean that off every between every take. That's why this movie took so long to shoot, for reasons like that. So nice, nice, Hollywood is as glamorous as it's always been. It's there. really not. <laughs> so was, it, was it always your intention to do something completely different, a bit of a departure for you? Because you kind of done a bit of comedy before, and this is obviously a full sort of no holds barred horror. So Yeah. When I read the script, I got excited about trying something new. That was a big reason why I, I took this project on. And in terms of playing someone who's possessed, how, how do you go about take, uh, sort of taking on a role like that? Because it must be quite difficult to sort of not sort of fall into the kind of stereotypes of what you see in the movies sort of in the past. Mm -hmm. I don't really... Uh, people ask me sometimes what my process was like or how did I prepare. I don't know. I just remember being extremely nervous. And, I mean, what something I did do is I watched a lot of horror films and, and I watched a lot of movies with really classic scary villains and tried to study what made them so scary and steal bits and pieces from all of them. So did you draw, I mean, of course, of course, in the original, uh, The Evil Dead, of course, your part is to be played by, played by Bruce Campbell, but he was around on set, wasn't he, or he was kind of a producer of the film, so were you able to kind of speak to him and get some kind of inspiration from him, from him about it? He mostly just warned us about how hard these kind of movies are, how, like I said before, physically and emotionally exhausting they are, um, and since we've made it, he's been so supportive, and it makes me feel really good about myself when he says nice things. Uh, despite being kind of uh, your character being possessed and this kind of supernatural elements, at the heart of the kind of story, this is a girl who's kind of trying to overcome a, a drug addiction. Was that something that attracted you to the role, that kind of more human side of things? Yeah, it did. Um, I think it's grounded at the beginning of the movie in, you know, real relationship drama. And uh, this girl w needs to survive, and she does survive. And so, it, what, what's it like as an experience? Because, I mean, with a horror movie, it's one of those films where the sound and the kind of visuals all come together to make a kind of experience for the viewer. But when you're filming it, do you get a sense for how scary this might be or what this might actually turn out to look like on screen? No idea. Really. I was so surprised when I saw it. I didn't really watch playback on set. I didn't really know what it looked like. And it's hard to know when you're being scary. You just sort of have to go for it and the other people around you validate you. But... No. I had no idea what it was going to turn out like. So when you did see this one, were you, were you scared by it? Were you able to kind of get, or do you know it all too well? From I know it all too well, and it's hilarious to me. <laughs> it's really funny. 
So, so what's coming up for you next? Because I've got in a dark place. Is that what you're working on? Have you started making that? Or? I haven't. No. Um, I actually don't know when we're going to start. But it's more of a thriller than it is a horror film. There's no gore. Okay. But I'll be shooting it here. Oh, cool. Yeah. So when does that start? I don't know. I don't know. They're working all that stuff out right now. Because you sort of just said that this was one of the sort of hardest experiences of your life. Would, would you return to horror in the future? Is this a kind of genre you'd like to come back to one day? I, I've done a lot of complaining about it. So I think if I did, people would say, hey. But um, I guess, I'm, I mean, I'm going to do Evil Dead too. So yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you.